Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's DIY, I'm going to show you how to paint a couple of different canvas art that you can hang in your room. You'll need paintbrushes, paint of your choice, and a canvas. I got this large one from a store called Yisk, and they're super cheap there. I think I got two of them for $16. So for the first canvas, I wanted to paint a simple quote that's inspirational. Now if you're a perfectionist like me, I recommend printing out a quote in the font that you like so you can trace it exactly. What I'm doing here, I'm just lining up the sheets of paper and taping them together so they are in a straight line. Next, flip your canvas over and tape your quote to the back of it so you can see the quote from the front. All you're going to do now is lightly trace the quote with a pencil. I found that it's easier to trace and see the quote if you place a book underneath the canvas. I want to keep this canvas pretty simple and clean so I'm just going to use black paint. For my paintbrush, I'm just going to use one with a fine tip, but feel free to use whatever one you want. Next, just go ahead and paint over your pencil. So for the second canvas, I'm gonna use a bigger brush. This is the biggest one I have, unfortunately, but feel free to use whatever size you want. To start off, I'm gonna use this metallic paint. It doesn't say the name on it, so I don't really know what color it is, but it's like a taupey gold color. With the paint, you're gonna do some random vertical strokes and keeping most of the paint concentrated at the bottom of the canvas. You want to make some strokes higher than others just to keep it a little bit more abstract and not too symmetrical. So now I'm just painting the edges where there is paint on the canvas just so that when I lay my bed and I look up I don't see white. Next I'm just going back with the paint and using the other side of my brush to make thinner strokes. Now I'm going to use this pearly white metallic color. Once again, they don't have names to them so I can't really tell you what it is. I'm basically just going to layer this paint on top using the same techniques as I did before with thicker and thinner strokes. So that's it for my DIY today, let me know in the comments below which one you like better for my wall. The first one which was inspirational yet minimal, or the second one that was more abstract. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to click on the subscribe button to see more videos from me. Bye!